Imagine standing on the edge of discovery, peering into the vast expanse of space where distant worlds await. With the help of NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, we've set our sights on a planet 12 light years away, Epsilon Indy AB. This cold, distant giant orbits its star, quietly holding secrets that stretch across time and space. Epsilon Indy AB is not just another dot in the sky. It is a place we've dreamed about for decades. It was written into the annals of science fiction, an imagined world, a setting for novels, video games, even mentioned in Star Trek lore. And now, with Webb's extraordinary vision, real-world observations have been made of this fictional world. We're seeing it not in a story, but through the eyes of science, with each flicker of light and shadow revealing more about its nature. An international team of astronomers has directly imaged this exoplanet, one of the coldest ever seen. The team observed Epsilon Indy AB using the coronagraph on Webb's mid-infrared instrument. Only a few tens of exoplanets have ever been directly imaged by space and ground-based observatories. These observations are ushering in a completely new era in exoplanet research. This exoplanet, with its reddish hues, is a bit of a cosmic enigma. It is twice as massive as we thought, a little farther from its star, and unlike any planet ever directly imaged before. At just 2 degrees Celsius, it is colder than almost any other directly imaged exoplanet, offering us an unprecedented glimpse of what could be a solar system much like our own. Previously imaged exoplanets tend to be the youngest, hottest exoplanets that are still radiating much of their energy from when they were first formed. As planets cool and contract over their lifetime, they become significantly fainter and much harder to image. Cold planets are very faint, and most of their emission is in the mid-infrared. Webb is ideally suited to conduct mid-infrared imaging, which is extremely hard to do from the ground. Astronomers also needed good spatial resolution to separate the planet from its star in the images, and the large JWST mirror is extremely helpful in this regard. What makes Epsilon Indy AB truly extraordinary is how similar it is to Jupiter, our gas giant neighbor. Its atmosphere, clouded and mysterious, hints at elements like methane and carbon dioxide absorbing the starlight in ways we hadn't predicted. This world isn't exactly what we expected, and that's where the magic lies. Every answer breeds more questions. Every observation leaves us hungry to know more. What's beneath those clouds? How did this world form? And what does it teach us about our place in the cosmos? The direct imaging of exoplanets is particularly valuable for characterizing distant worlds. Scientists can directly collect light from the observed planet and compare its brightness at different wavelengths. So far, the science team has only detected Epsilon Indy AB at a few wavelengths, but they hope to revisit the planet with JWST to conduct both photometric and spectroscopic observations in the future. They also hope to detect other similar planets with Webb to find possible trends about their atmospheres and how these objects form. As we continue to explore, Webb's observations of Epsilon Indy AB is just the beginning. In the coming years, the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope will follow in Webb's footsteps, capturing more images of Jupiter-like planets around sun-like stars. It's as if the universe is slowly drawing back the curtain, revealing the worlds that have long existed in the darkness, waiting for us to find them. This moment reminds us of the power of curiosity, the drive that compels us to look at the stars and wonder, what's out there? The universe, vast and infinite, still holds so many secrets. And with every discovery, we take one more step toward understanding not only the distant planets, but the grand tapestry of existence itself. Exoplanet Radio is produced by Deep Astronomy. The music is by Geodesium and available at LotNessProductions.com. Get all episodes at exoplanetradio.com or anywhere you get podcasts.